In this problem, you're to determine the work done during a cyclic process where all of the processes take place at either a constant pressure or a constant volume. The ones that take place with a constant volume are easy. Because the volume is not changing, the work done on these regions are zero. So from A to B and C to D, there are zero joules of energy transferred as work. From B to C and D to A, you find the amount of work by just doing the pressure times the change in volume. Make sure your pressure is converted from kilopascals to regular pascals. To get the change in volume, get your starting volume and your ending volume and find the difference between them. For B to C, your gas is expanding. That means it's doing work to its environment. That means the gas is losing energy, so make sure whatever answer you get, you make it negative. From D to A, you again do work equals P delta V. It'll be the same change in volume you had before. You're now going from about 2.95 to about 1.15. Your pressure will now be a lower value. You multiply them out, get your work. That work will be positive because you are adding energy to the gas. You're compressing the gas. The piston is pushing the gas into a smaller volume. To get the net work, you simply take your two values and find the net work that was done. Your net work should be negative because your negative work is going to happen at a greater pressure than your positive work. Once you get your net work, hit the end button, submit your result, and make sure you did it correctly.